baby. Sometimes I need a vacay, meditate, hydrate, protect my energy before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you're labeled impatient. But once the boss made it, you're labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, such a force of nature. Boss. I don't want to seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I want to see. Ocean from residences, three different ones a week. Because I deserve that. Well, they indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you look inside a Bills stadium in Orchard Park. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. The final week into the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. forward up to about the 29 just shy of the 30. the game's first play produces six yards brings up second down a six yard pickup brings up second and four here's a run with acres on second down and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line 12 yards there and a first down well, there's the flash and dash that Rams fans got used to during the Todd Gurley era, but with Todd in the rearview mirror, here's Cam Akers, the rookie out of Florida State, and he can exhibit the same type of ability. Running, cutting, can catch the ball in the backfield. I think he'll be a better pro than a collegiate player because I believe he'll get better blocking and show his talents. And in Sean McVay's offense, he'll get the ball often. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. the gun it's Kaepernick dancing to his left room to run past midfield got a man and he hits him in stride and he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 45 yard line a big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13 so first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 45 yard line from the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. Nigel Bradham brings him down. A tough run there for Cam Akers, a rookie out of Florida State. And while he had some experience in that while in college, remember the Rams offensive line was inconsistent last year too. They're trying to get better. But while he was in college, oftentimes he would hesitate maybe a little bit too long behind the line of scrimmage, looking for the big run here in the NFL. Put your foot in the ground, get your shoulders down, and get what you can. Van Jefferson, the rookie wideout, the intended target. And it's third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Here comes the seventh play in this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. 
Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Man open, it's Cup. He's got it. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A gain of seven. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. Kaepernick going to throw. He'll throw complete to Cam Akers. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Complete For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. First down. Uh, the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run a draw now with Akers. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. Buying time to his left. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Second and seven. The throw out wide by Kaepernick is caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Van Jefferson. Van Jefferson. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. The Extra score. point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will watch this one land in the end zone. That'll be a touchback. 25-yard line. And the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. He goes underneath for Yeldon. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. From Brendan, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Here we go. Here we go. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. Two yards, good enough for a first. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. They run with a former Jaguar. It's T.J. Yeldon. 
TJ Yeldon. There to make the tackle, Samson Abuka. By Samson Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Rams, 42 yard line. To throw on second and six. Allen, he's going to sling this deep downfield. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. Trent Murphy, the one to bring him down. made the tackle. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Los Angeles. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Rams seven, Bills nothing. Quick throw by Kaepernick, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. First down, Rams. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, going for Jefferson down feet. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Van Jefferson with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Rams add on to their lead. And he's got it up and through. Makes the score Rams 14, Bills nothing. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And boy, that one drops in complete. But if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. It got his man complete. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give him a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. 
They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. What I enjoyed most about watching Devin Singletary as a rookie, and he had a nice campaign, 775 yards on the ground and a rushing average in the top five in the league last year, is that what I saw in college transferred to the NFL. Continued to make the first tackler miss when he was in the hole or on the perimeter. I expect him to get to 1,000 yards rushing this season. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Tyler Croft there to make the grab. And the Bills draw a bit closer. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, put them to good use on that one. Their own 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play call, and they're locked in really well. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He's tackled at the 29. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively? You have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, Guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trent Murphy, and this one will be brought back to the 22. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive, and now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much, because as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. to throw again. Allen looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Third down and 11. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Eluding the pressure right. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there, pushes this to fourth down. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact? That's how you end up winning it. And this is not going to be anywhere close. No good. Way wide to the left. And this score will stay right where it is. 
So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, sent this one off target. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. On the handoff, it's Akers. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Complete to Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, Akers. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Escaping the pressure right. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And he'll be taken down with a first down as they get about 14 out of that one. And we go to the two-minute warning. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and one. I remember covering Robert Woods in college at USC, and consistent was the word that was always used about him. Maybe we should have added dependable as well. Over 1,100 yards each of the last two seasons. This guy studied to be an NFL wide receiver while in college and has carried that over to the NFL. A pro's pro. This guy plays as hard as anyone in the league. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Los Angeles. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll run on first down with Akers. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. First and goal at the three-yard line. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Pass the 20. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. So they had a good drive going, a chance to build on this first half lead, but now you kind of feel like we got a new ball game. And you wonder what the discussion will be now at halftime because I think we were headed towards one. Now it's a different discussion altogether. One side optimistically, the other side wondering what could have been. Extra point right down the middle, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. 
You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Yeah, easy to second guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. And that's caught. Did he stay in bounds, though? He did not. Ruled incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target. And now it's second down. Second and ten. Throwing again. Allen. They find Sheldon. And a good game here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. And he missed it. It's no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, you're not going to have too many attempts shorter than that one. And I don't think this was blocked. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play caller's just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one, a big shot. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Sam for the extra point. One play, eight. 80 yards, pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. come to the line to start their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Throwing on second and long. Allen trying to lay one up. He's got a man complete. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. A big play here for the Bills. 52 yards. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. On first down, Singletary. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. And behind the chain, second and 13. Operating from the gun, Allen. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Allen. And that is incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. A 40-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you're that clapping on the sidelines, <laughs> right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. At their own 25-yard line.
set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The sack there by Trent Murphy. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Flush to his right. He'll run it. A breakdown defensively there as the scramble is going to set him up with a much more manageable third down. It's a gain of 13, but it brings up third down. From the gun on third down, Kaepernick. He's going to air it out deep for Woods. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Able to fight through one tackle. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking... My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. And that is intercepted by the pro bowler, Jalen Ramsey. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck fifty now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. One yard line. Four yards remain for second down. You can't block me. You can't block me. On the RPO, that's complete right side. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. 13 yards. Cooper Cup had a big season in 2019. Also saw the emergence of tight end Tyler Higby for the Rams. He really jumped up his game about the last month of the season. But when it came time to ring the bell and get into the end zone, and the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. The veteran Jerry Hughes drops the hammer in the backfield. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. And that one gives him a three-point lead. Makes the score, Bills 24, Rams 21. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Ed Oliver made the tackle. Nice play there by Ed Oliver. That's why he went ninth overall when he came out of Houston back in 2019. And now a shot into coverage downfield is complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Not sure much more could have been done there defensively. Went up with him, tried to knock it away, tried to get an arm in unsuccessfully.
Making my babies proud, wanna cop my mama a house.